What's up out there? Welcome back to some more Path of Exile Trial of the Ancestors League. This is update 10 and will be the final update for this league because we've got these November events coming up and the events start next week and then they run for three, week, three weeks and then there's going to be like two or three weeks between the next that and the next league. So there's not really much time left to keep continue on with this league as it is. So I'm just going to wind everything down and we'll get into this, you know, we'll get into some more details on that here in a second. But I wanted to talk about these events first. So I am going to participate in these and that is the Crangled Passive events, which starts on November 3rd. Then there's the Blast from the Past, which starts on November 10th. And this is the one I'm really looking forward to. And then there's the Shifting Stones, which is the least the one that I care the least about now. On here, it says you'll be able to win two guaranteed Ancestor Mystery Boxes per account for reaching level 50 in any two of the events. So I'm definitely going to take part in the first two. I don't know how much I'm going to stick around for the third one, but I'm definitely doing the first two. The Crangled Passives one sounds pretty cool. They just jumble up the passive tree and you got to make a build out of it uh, until you figure out where all the passes have gone and all that kind of... It sounds cool. I'm interested that's probably the one that's going to be the most challenging because I don't really know the passive tree all that well. I've, you know, and I only have a few builds and I've been following build guides. So they just tell you where to put the dot and it'll be kind of interesting because I started off do it yourself. And now to try this as a do it yourself again, now that I've got some game knowledge behind me, I'll be curious to see if I do any better. So I'm looking forward to that one. And then definitely looking forward to this blast from the past. This has got Sentinel and Lake of Calandra, and I've heard nothing but bad things about Lake of Calandra. It seems like nobody liked it. I really want to see what it is. Uh, I'm curious about it, and I'm definitely interested in playing it. So on to my character. I, I did make changes to my gloves, my ring, and I tried to incorporate in a new shield. I think I built this new... Um, scepter in here. I, I don't remember if I had this one in last time or not, but this is one where you could actually trade 40% worth of quality fire gems. So you can have two 20% gems or three of other gems. I'm sure I, I didn't, I didn't test it, but I think it took me three gems and um, a scepter to get this one. And what it gives you with that trade is plus one level to all fire spell skill gems. You have to have fire gems that have a quality a total quality that adds up to 40%. So it can be two or three. I tried three because I didn't have two 20 percenters. So I tried three that added up to 40% and it worked. So I got this added fire. Da it's got 18% increased fire damage, 30% increased burning damage and 20% to fire damage over time multiplier. I don't have any exalted orbs, so I can't add anything more to it. So this is what I could craft up myself. And this is what I got. And I would love to have this to be plus two gems because or plus two to all fire spell skill gems. I think I mentioned that in a previous video that I was trying to work this up to plus two, but then somebody mentioned that you could get this with a simple craft. And because I got all the other fire and burning damage, it was slightly better than the other one that I had. And by slightly, I, I mean, it was slightly better. It wasn't like tremendously better. This is not some massive difference, but it was slightly better. So I was able to put this on. And then here the other day, uh, I actually tried an annulment orb for the first time and I dropped off whatever it was. I looked at these boots and I thought there's enough stuff on here that I don't care about. Like increased armor and evasions is good. I mean, I definitely don't want to lose that, but I could do without that off of these boots. Uh, the plus five evasion rating, I could probably lose. The increased stun and block recovery, I could probably lose. And then whatever one was on here that got taken away, because this had all six stats fin filled out. And I, I complained in the last video about needing increased movement speed. So I tried the orb of annulment, put that movement speed on, and this moves so much faster. This is way better than what it was. So that was a huge, that's a huge quality of life improvement there. As far as the other changes that I've made, uh, I put these gloves on and I actually, I think I crafted these up. So I did run out of implicit, the Eldritch currency. So that's why it's got that weird exerted attacks deal 21% increased damage at the top. I don't know if that applies to Righteous Fire or not. I don't know what ex exerted attacks are. I haven't looked it up. I haven't messed with it. So I just got it. I ran out of currency and I'm like, all right, that's what it is. I've got two more of that currency that I can spend, but... I haven't 
just haven't got to it yet. And then I did get this minions deal, 16% increased damage, which I'm pretty sure applies to this. So I also paid attention in here and I saw that the blessed orb randomizes the values of implicit modifiers. So I ended up get, running a couple of those on here to get the minions deal 16% increased damage, which I believe applies to righteous fire because there's a passive we take that applies minion stuff to that. So I think it applies. I haven't done, I did a little bit of testing, but it didn't really seem like it did a whole lot. It's hard to, I don't know. It's hard to tell sometimes, but anyway, I've got that on here. I needed this. I thought I had this one on here for Dex, which I think I crafted dexterity on here because the shield that I was trying to put on had a lot of Dex on it. So I ended and the ring that I was using uh, is actually this ring with 46 Dex on it. So I ended up swapping that ring out and I added this ring, which has 8% increased fire damage, some re life regen on here with 55.3 life per second, uh, some cold res and increased life reservation efficiency of skills. And then I crafted some max life onto here. And then with this glove here, it, it added a little bit of fire resistance, some max life, uh, increased armor and energy shield, blah, blah. I mean, it's got a, a few nice things on it. So I actually bumped up my damage slightly. I am now running 191, 197. If I'm in combat, that actually goes up to say two and a quarter, 250, somewhere in there. So decent amount of damage compared to everything else. I was looking at my POE Ninja um, and you could track it by week and it's definitely far higher than it was. I think I'm up to, on POE Ninja, it's like 340 or something like that. And I think it was uh, 116 a few weeks ago. So there's a lot of improvements been made. Uh, so anyway, and I did get another Immortal Flesh, and this one's actually better. So the one that I had before had a minus 24 to all elemental resistances. This one's only at minus 18, and I don't have any divines to redo that. I think it's the divine currency that will redo those uh, numbers on there. I don't have a divine, so I can't do it, but this was better, slightly better than that. So all told, all this is going, you know, the build is just that much better. I did lose a little bit of life, so I'm down to 3860 instead of whatever I was. So that's down a little bit. But I took all that and worked on a bunch of Maven fights. So you basically do the 10 fights, you get the invitation, you fight at the arena thing, kill off all the monsters, go back and do it again. And you gotta do that 10 times. So you're doing 100 maps, for 10 of those to get the little splinters that then become her, um, whatever that, whatever that currency is. I I've only seen it one time and I used it. So I did fight the Maven one time. I'm going to roll some video in the background if it's not already rolling. And the fight was not bad, but I didn't win. I ended up dying. I ended up losing all my portals and that was that. So now I have to regrind all of that out and I don't really look forward to it. So I was like, eh, whatever. Once we got that news for November and all this stuff coming, I was like, all right, I gotta just, uh, this needs to be the end of the road for me. So I tried to wrap up the things that I wanted to finish off on the season. And that's kind of where we are today. But back to the Maven fight. So I start off fighting her. It wasn't bad. Like I wasn't hardly taking any damage. Everything was okay. Once that giant ball thing comes out, whatever her little companion is that shoots the crap out the side, and then all the the uh, mobs that spawn, that's where I started dying. Like when that thing came out, I insta died, and then it just the fight just didn't go well for me at, at from that point on. And it didn't seem like the mechanics were terribly hard. Like I wasn't really having any issues with it. I was just dying. You know, well, I mean, obviously I'm having mechanic issues, but it wasn't like, a, I don't feel like it was a mechanic that I didn't understand. I feel like I was dying because I just wasn't doing the right thing. But unfortunately, I don't get to practice the fight because I have to go through all of that to get those shards back to fight her again. So unless there's an easier way, which I don't know about, I would have to regrind all those maps and do all that. And like I said, once we got that uh, November news, I was like, eh, all right, I'm done. So... To close out this league, once we got that news, once I did that fight and I was like, all right, I really can't do anything anymore. The one thing that I needed to finish off is these two maps. This one here, this Putrid Cloister and this Twilight Temple. Now, I have been struggling hard to get these two to complete. I even favored them. Like I had, uh, because I think this is the museum off the, the Putrid Cloister is a museum map. And this is a moon temple map. So I had favorited all the damn maps 
or every one of these was favorited to either one or both or one or the other. And then once I got the one done, I favorited this other. So I was doing everything I could possibly could. And I was running as many of these, uh, like I got this explorer scouting reports where I would, I would use some of those. And I kept started keeping some of these other ones, but like I, I was getting the comprehensive ones. I was trying all the different ones. I think there's a singular one or something like that. Is this a singular? That's the singular or singular focus or whatever. Like I was running all those. You come in here and you re-roll all his missions. He was never showing those. Once I got done with that Maven fight, I thought, you know what? I need to spend the rest of this league just getting those two maps done because I wanted my vault pass completed. That's the whole point. Of, you know, I just couldn't get those two maps. And it kind of dawned on me. I'm like, maybe I need to run Kirok missions, like directly run Kirok missions. I've been, I've just been grabbing missions out of the stash and going and running them. Once I filled out most of the map, I kind of moved on from run, running his missions. So I went back to actually just clicking on a mission and activating and running it. And once I did that, got that first map, I got the putrid cloister, which I was waiting on a craft. There was a, I can't remember which craft it was, but I needed a craft from that. Uh, prevent, Oh, allows you to have three crafted mods or something like that which actually I might look and see if I could put that on here. But anyway, I needed that craft or I wanted that craft and I wanted to get that finished up for my vault pass. So the other night when I did the, the Maven fight and I got done, saw the stuff about November, I thought, all right, onto the maps. I came in here and I started doing uh, Kirok missions. I actually got the Putrid Cloister as a drop. And it dropped as a museum map. I was like, all right, whatever. And then I clicked on it and I noticed that it was unique and I identified it all to hit the alt key over it. And it said incomplete immediately took off out of that map, ran that uh, future cloister and got that one done. I did not get the other map that night though. So I ended up getting the moon temple last night and finishing off my season pass. So that's done. I, so that was my big concern because I paid for the season pass. I needed to get the last two maps done and that is over with. I fought the Maven. Uh, if, you know, I've got two void stones down here. And I can get myself out of the way. But I've got, just to look back at the progress that I've made for this, you know, I've got all 115 nodes selected. I've got the two void stones. I fought the Maven. Like, I feel like I've accomplished an enormous amount with this league. I don't really feel like I need to do more. That's why I'm going to just quit. Like the next week or so is just going to be spent kind of tinkering around with some builds or whatever until we get the next league. Actually, what I've what I've moved over to is I redid my Atlas tree completely. I took all of the we had Kirok stuff down here and we had the uh, mapping stuff here. I took all of that out and I redid this so that I have everything into Abyss now because I want to check out Abyss. There's a lot of nodes in here, so I really wanted to check out what Abyss does. So basically, I'm specced into Betrayal, uh, Delve, and Abyss right now. And I just want to check those out. So that's kind of what I, how I'm going to ride out the rest of this league is maybe checking out the Abyss stuff for a little while. I do want to try out Breach and Legion, wherever Legion's at. So I want to try those two out as well. I may redo some stuff. I don't know. It depends on how much I'm actually playing this league versus, you know what I mean, like, testing builds out for next league or doing these events and stuff like that. Like I'm basically, this is the end of this league for me. So it's just kind of riding it out and playing whatever at this point. Uh, so that will do it for this video. There will be more videos. We're going to definitely take part in this events that's coming up. And there's, I mean, there's definitely going to be more stuff coming. It's just not going to be updates for this. I don't foresee myself trying to level up again. I'm level 95. I really don't see myself trying to get to 100. That seems like a lot of grind for a, a basically dead league. So like I said, this is going to be the end of the league for me. I've got everything done and there's really not much more aside from planning for the next league or just tinkering around and trying things out for now. Bossing I'm done with. I don't want to mess with all the rest of that. I'll save that for next league. So anyway, that will do it for this video. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.